Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys and girls how to create clothing for your characters um, that also interacts with physics. So really really cool stuff and it's going to be a really easy way to do this. So yeah, here we go. So as you can see I've got a body shape, it's just a very very simple body shape set up here. And then I've also got some armature that I've animated, you can see I've got some keyframes on the timeline. So if I play this back you'll see that we have a very simple animation and just kind of a rotation at the end so we can get like a full body movement as well. So let's go to the first frame and I'm going to select the body, go into edit mode, pressing tab. And then just hit W on the keyboard until you see this little round or circle select. I just find it easier to select the faces this way. Make sure you're in face select mode by pressing 3. And then we're going to select the faces where we want our shirt or t-shirt or whatever piece of clothing you are creating. You just want to select those faces basically. So I'm going to select these faces on the side. I'm basically going to create like a t-shirt. Um, I'm just going to select these faces around here. Let's just zoom in here slightly. Holding shift and I'm just basically painting over these faces to select them. So very simply like that. Let's go into the back view. Yeah. Holding shift and just painting all these faces like so. And then we want to select these ones, all of these ones around here and then just make sure you've got all the faces at the top as well over the shoulders underneath the arms something like that all right so that's going to be our shirt so we are simply going to duplicate these faces so with them selected press shift d it's going to duplicate them press escape to snap them back um, and then we're going to separate them from our model so simply right click separate selection and then press tab to go out of edit mode so now you would have or you will have your body shape and you will also have your shirt or clothing. So let's just give it some basic materials so it's easier to see which is which. So I'm just going to add a material for the body and a material for the shirt. And let's go into material preview. All right. So next what we want to do is we want to remove all the parenting from because currently we've got the because i duplicated those faces the armature will still affect our t-shirt so with a t-shirt selected i'm just going to right click go to parent and then clear parent or clear and keep transformation so that's basically going to remove it from the armature and it's going to be its own object so if i press play um, so that is not working. Let's just go to the, oh, we've got to go to the modifiers and just remove this armature modifier from the shirt. So now if I play it back, you'll see that the shirt is not following along and that's basically what we want. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to scale our shirt. So it's actually bigger than the body and it um, should not overlap with our body mesh. So with the shirt selected, press S, scale it up. And we can also scale it in the Z. And then if you look here at the back, you can see it's actually overlapping. So I'm going to scale it in the Y. So S, Y. And just scale it out so it's not overlapping there. And then we can maybe scale it a little bit in the X as well. So S, X. Scale it in the X. And uh, you can see it's very close to the underside of the arm right here. There's a much bigger space here at the top. So I'm going to move it down slightly. So G, Z and then just pull it down and uh, you basically want to make sure that it's not overlapping anywhere with the body mesh so you can go into uh, into wireframe but it makes it a bit tricky to see but yeah just make sure that it's not overlapping and um, that's basically what we want so if we play it back now you'll obviously see it's not going to interact with anything because we need to add some some physics to our shirt so the first thing that we want to do is we basically just want to parent the shirt to our body. And that's just to get the basic movement. If our characters may be walking or running, you just want the shirt to basically follow the movement um, of your character. So um, it's just easier or better to do it this way because if you 
just rely on physics it might actually give you some problems it might take longer to simulate so that's why i'm doing this step so select the shirt um, then hold shift click on the body right click parent and we're just going to do a normal object parent okay so now if we press play you'll see that it should spin around there we go so any like big movements walking character etc the shirt will now follow along the next thing that we want to do is we want to add some physics or cloth physics to our shirt so select the shirt and then go to the physics tab physics properties and simply click on cloth so now if we play this back you'll see the shirt is just going to fall because um, it doesn't have anything to interact with or no collision basically so we need to set up a collision physics properties on the body so select the body and under physics properties simply click on collision and now if we play this back you'll see that our shirt will kind of inter interact with our body it's not looking great so let's see what we can do so first let's select the shirt and then go to the physics properties and there's only a few things that you have to change here i'm not going to go through all of these settings because there's so many parameters that you can change um, but yeah this tutorial is just showing you the basics so firstly under quality steps we can increase this to 10 that's just gonna make the quality of the simulation a bit better but it's going to take longer to simulate um, and then we can maybe go down and the stiffness of the cloth we can bring that down to about five and maybe let's set the compression to five as well um, we can scroll down scroll down scroll down and then when we get to collisions the quality is currently on one or two um, let's set this to around five for now that should be good and then what you can also do is you can enable self collisions so that means that the cloth will actually interact or collide with itself which will just make it a bit more realistic so with that said let's give it a play and see what happens So you can see that's starting to look a little bit better but because we don't have a lot of geometry you can see it's quite low poly um, the shirt is not really folding and doing some like nice interesting things so let's increase the faces of our shirt so with the shirt selected go to your modifiers and we can simply add a subdivision surface but very importantly place this subdivision surface above the cloth uh, modifier so basically it's going to do the subdivision first and then it's going to do the cloth simulation and that's what we want so i'm going to increase the levels in the viewport to two as well and uh, let's save and let's do a quick simulation so obviously you can, can see it's running a lot slower now because it's got a lot more faces to calculate but i'm just going to fast forward through this and let's see what we get All right, so as you can see, it's not actually looking too bad. You can get some, you can see we're getting some nice um, folds and wrinkles looking pretty nice. But if I pause somewhere and let's just maybe scroll back a little bit, you can see that there's still some weird sharp edges happening here on the cloth. So a really easy way to fix this is to add another subdivision surface, but this time we'll place it below or after the cloth simulation. So that's not going to really affect the cloth, cloth simulation. It's going to apply it afterwards. So with our shirt selected, let's add one more subdivision surface. Make sure it's below the cloth. So there you go. And you can see it's really fixing all those issues you can see some issues right there if we increase this to two that's looking a lot better so now you can see that's looking nice all right so once you are happy with the simulation select the shirt um, and then we can add some thickness to it as well but before we're going to do that you can actually see it's um, sticking through here a little bit um so maybe i can just scale that out slightly so maybe scale on the y-axis yeah just like that so um before we add some thickness to the to the shirt 
we can go ahead and we can bake our simulation because from here on we are only going to add modifiers after the cloth simulation all right so with the shirt selected go to your physics properties scroll down until you see the cache and this is where you bake your simulation so you basically save out all those frame or those animation frames so just simply click on bake and uh, just wait until this run through you can obviously set the amount of frames here as well um, as you can see in my timeline i'm only using 120 frames so i could have changed that to 120 but i'll just stop it once it gets past um, 120 frames cool i'm just gonna fast forward through this very quickly All right, so let's see what we have. If I play it back, you'll see our cloth is interacting with the body. That's looking pretty cool. We've got all the nice wrinkles and all of those things. And yeah, it's looking super nice. So next we're gonna add some thickness to the shirt. So with the shirt selected, go to your modifiers and simply add a solidify modifier. So yeah, you can choose if you want to um, add the thickness on the outside or on the inside of the, the cloth. So under the solidify, you can either increase the thickness this way into the positive numbers and you'll see it will actually do it on the inside. And if you drag this into the negative numbers, it will add the thickness on the outside. I usually like to add it on the outside because then I know it's not gonna kind of intersect with the body. So maybe not as thick maybe something like that cool let's have a look and see what happens cool and that's how easy it is to create clothing with physics inside of blender i really hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial if you do enjoy tutorials like this please consider hitting that subscribe button um, i'm gonna try and do a new tutorial every week so yeah if you guys want to see something specific let me know in the comments and uh, also, you can pre-order my Blender book that's coming out soon. Details in the description. And yeah, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys next time. Cheers. Goodbye.